Hello, hi, how are you? And happy Saturday. We are here at the Cleveland's International Exposition Center, the IX Center, and uh, we're here for the car show. There's a car show, so that's awesome. Um, yeah. Look at those lines. Those are pretty super. I always forget how big this place is, but I mean, it makes sense. This used to be a tank factory back in the war times when it started as. Now it's just used as an exposition center for something like this, which I can't wait to go into. And if you think I was kidding about the size of this place, you believe me now? Yeah, it, oh, it, look it, at that. It, it, they have the Cleveland Cavaliers Lego Championship Lego. trophy here this year as well. That's pretty awesome. They also have an International Beer Festival going on right here right now. Look, this bar is called the Frog Bar. There's a little frog band right here. It's so funny. I don't know about you, but there's something about this sign that's just pretty majestic. These are the cars that people really come to see. The Rolls Royce. Look at those. I'll try to get more of those down the line in a second. This one is an Aston Martin. And then this is a racing version of that one. It's ridiculous. And then these two is a McLaren and I believe a Mercedes on the end right there. Those are uh, those are definitely the ones that you know you've made it if you own one of these cars. Oh yeah, this was it's, a, it's almost show. like a bulldog. I that on top Heck. of my house, no problem. Okay, that probably Okay, then. They got a food truck back there. That's pretty cool. I might go see what they have. Oh, they even got a couple classics out here on the main floor. I say on the main floor because there's a section that's actually like specifically classic cars that we're probably going to go to after. But look at that. Also, you can come here and test drive a. Uh, I believe a Dodge. I think it's a Dodge. It might be a GMC. But, uh, but yeah. Guys, about to do the. It is the Dodge, by the way. It's Max Towing. It's about to pick up this 31,210 pounds. Let's see, Let's see what happens. Let's go. What? What is this here? I can't even drive this. <laughs> Look at the license plate. It says Batitude. That's funny. It's the Batmobile from Lego Batman movie, like uh, I just showed you. The things I do to drive this new Corvette, honestly, like, it's so pretty. I also forgot to show that there's a huge Ferris wheel in here that goes right out of the roof. It's pretty awesome. I think it costs a lot, though, so I can never really do it. Also, my mom's afraid of bikes, so, you know, just a few factors. LED accents also articulating HID headlamps. Those are the headlamps that turn as you turn. And Archie from Flying creates a sporty stance that's enhanced by these stunning 19-inch alloy wheels with low-profile all-season tires. And the sweeping design motif that carries on into the interior where you'll find that engaging driver-centric environment that you're used to from Buick. The controls are intuitive and ergonomic. We have the heated and cooled seats up front, heated seats in the back. Of course, the seats are trimmed in premium leather. Now the seats are just an indication of the premium materials used inside of the Envision. For example, there's a rich mix of contrasting tones. You have exposed aluminum, soft touch materials, and stitching all throughout the cabin. So it's all there to remind you that you truly are on the inside of a luxury SUV. This premium interior will also come with a host of technologies. This includes our next generation Buick IntelliLink system that's integrated into the center stack right there. It's an 8-inch frameless touchscreen monitor, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatible. So if you have an iPhone, for example, and it doesn't, plug it in through the USB port, you'll see a mirror image of your iPhone screen on the touchscreen. You can manipulate applications such as Pandora, Spotify. You'll have access to your music, media, phone, even navigation. So if it's not that I'm in the market for a new car or anything like that. I just thought it looked cool. Jeeps are ridiculous. Some of the stuff that they can do is honestly like some of the best cars today. Yeah, here, wait, watch this. Wheel is off the ground. It just safely gets right up and over that. Ridiculous. Now we're getting back into the good stuff. It's a 
1958 Ford Fairlane. It is pretty. This is what it looks like on a picture. All of these down here. It's pretty neat. Here's an old caddy, I think it's 1966, it said. These things are boats. They're ridiculous. This is my dream car right here. It's a 1955 Chevy Bel Air. I would really want it in the blue though, or like the, just like, actually there's a car up here that I'll show you. It's more like that one. Kind of like a blue like this, but uh, a little bit darker, more of a royal blue. Also, here's a Wildcat. This 77 Corvette, this thing's crazy. Also, look at these little guys. And here's Herbie. Look at this 1930 Ford Model A truck. This thing is cool. Cool, it's super bright out here, but uh, that's gonna do it from the Cleveland Auto Show at the IX Center. Um, I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing the rest of the night. I know we're going out to dinner now for my brother's birthday, which was a couple days ago. Uh, but I don't, I don't know about after that. I'll find out though. I think that's gonna do it here for uh, me today. Um, I'm in my basement right now. Like I said, I always come to. Um, but. Yeah, it was a lot of fun today. I had a lot of fun at the car show. We went to Quaker Steak and Lube for dinner uh, for my brother's birthday, so that was fun. Uh, I didn't vlog anything from there just because I was with family, like, and I wanted to be with family, so didn't really vlog anything. But, but yeah, yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say right now um, that I can think of. So yeah, uh, thank you to everyone who watched, and have a good night.